What's up, guys? It's King Daddy DMAC, and welcome back to another episode of Hermit Unleashed here on the Hermitcraft Feed the Beast server. Oh, yeah, I love playing Feed the Beast, my favorite time of the week. It is Monday, and how is everybody's weekend? I had a real good time, but I missed it because I never get to play in the weekend. I'm over my girlfriend's house, so. Now it's time to get back to business. Last time we made ourselves a jetpack. We got our longfall boots and we finally got some machinery going up. And I've been running off of coal and it is a pain in the butt. But you got to do what you got to do when you're starting out. Today I think we should start doing some upgrades. And my goal is I'd like to build a house up top and get this machinery in there. And start getting some alternative sources of power. Um, I had a lot of good suggestions about, I was asking before, about different upgraded type of crafting tables. And I'm going to be using today anyway, auto crafting tables. Because it makes it easier for setting things up for hand for recording. Such as this, but today I want to upgrade some of our machinery tools. Um, I've been using these dark craft tools for now which we still haven't gone over but I don't want to keep on wasting my resources on making more pickaxes and stuff like that not now that we have power so we're going to first upgrade to a mining drill bam are, are we oh what the heck this is different auto workbench it actually takes a little bit of time now that's interesting at least it doesn't take power huh I may have to rethink this all right, well, we're going to get that. We have the mining drill. We'll let the chainsaw go up. This is going to replace an axe, but for the mining drill, let's see. If we're going to mine something. See, we can do it when it has no hit bar, and bam, it breaks. Now, that was probably about the speed of, like, a stone tool or maybe even a wood tool. But once we get some power into this bad boy, let's let it go up and up. And this guy can hold 10,000 EU. See how fast it is now. All right, much, much faster. Now it's probably about that of like maybe an iron tool. So pretty cool. However, that's not going to really help us now because we are already much further than iron tools. We got ourselves diamonds. So let's upgrade this to a diamond one. Still holds 10,000 EU. Let's see now. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very cool. Now, it is still kind of annoying. Look at how much that went through. Let's see one individual break. How much energy that takes. All right, so that went down about 80 EU just for the one break. So we're going to have to do something else so that we don't have to keep on worrying about power and recharging. So to do that, let's go ahead and make a bat pack. Bat pack, bat pack. There we go, and this will hold 60,000, so enough for six charges of this guy while we're on the go. So that should be pretty cool, and I'd like to even upgrade this to a lap pack today. All right, so we have that guy. Now, I'm not sure we may have to upgrade our bat box as well, which is going to be pretty expensive, but why not? So I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. Let's go ahead. Let's look it up. And it's called the lap pack. There's several different more advanced ones in this. But this now is going to hold 300,000 EU. It's going to be a bat pack, advanced circuit, and then six lapatronic blocks. Do we not have everything necessary for this? All right. Maybe we should just do it by hand. Let's see. Let's do it one more time. Nope. It's not going to let me. And yeah, is still a little messed up. There we go. Awesome. Now this guy, I'm hoping he'll charge in here. Is he? Is he gonna? No! We're gonna have to upgrade. All right, that's okay. We'll get to that in a little bit. Let's grab our chainsaw. Now for all of these, this still has another upgrade. The chainsaw has an upgrade, but for that we need to get overclockers. So we're not gonna worry about that yet. Let's see, can I put this guy in the generator? No, that was probably a mistake to do as of yet, but that's okay. Why don't we 
not worry about you for now. We're going to put you in here. And I've been working on, oh yeah, a whole bunch of stuff so we can get our solar panel arrays going. Let's put this all away. I'm going to get my chainsaw charged up in there. And let's grab some more. Do I have more coal on me? Oh, we got to upgrade this soon too. Anywho, anywho. We got a whole lot of good stuff going on. And why don't we head upstairs and start planning out what we're going to do for our house. All right, here we are, Mount Demac. And look at my poor attempt at a creeper face. I got to fix this up. I did that right before I left for the weekend. So here we are. Um, Here's what I'm thinking. A lot of people, they're doing, I guess, I don't know, just kind of basic houses, basic look, nothing too crazy or snazzy. Um, I'm thinking what I want to do is I want to have one, probably either nine by nine or maybe 11 by 11. Probably do nine by nine. Yeah, because Direwolf does that. And Direwolf's so cool. One room kind of here and then another one here, but they'll be kind of connected with the entrance coming out here and the path going around over like this and then down. So I think that should be neat. Maybe we'll even do kind of an L shape. So I'm going to start laying out a foundation. Um, I'd like to have, see how that edge of the house, you see the upside down V like that. I want to have one of those right here with kind of like a big window or something. So that would be the side. So let's start to lay these out. Let's leave two, I guess. One, two, and one, two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, that works. And then we might have to take out these trees and move things around. And then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this will be the first part of it. And I know we don't have quite as much room as I'd like for this, but hey. Got to make do with what you got. I brought a bunch of dirt. We need to move things around. So that's good. So then I guess the entrance would be kind of like right here and curving around. So this we're going to have to work out and make a little bit longer. So if we had the entrance come in like this, we'll, go, we'll just extend that wall there. And then the next one will come out and be like right here. Let's see how many, how far over we're going to have to expand this dirt. So again, it would start right there. All right. So if all goes well, this is what the foundation of our house is going to be. Two nine by nines. And I may want to try and add in another nine by nine over here something like that this will be the entrance right here and then come up and then this we got to pick out what we want to do for our floor so is this guy a good one it's only got one let's chop these up and by the way these chainsaws so cool if you don't know they do have yay silk touch for things like leaves to just pick up so we can try and work that into Using some bushes, perhaps, in our build. Um, next, I think I'm going to stick in a floor and start building up the walls. we got to decide what do we want to use for our decorations of stuff. Huh. Probably might not be horrible to try and stick with stuff that's in this biome. Perhaps like mushrooms or something like that. That could be kind of neat. Let's see if this does silk touch in the mushrooms. Does it? No, it didn't. Well, that's stinky. All right, so we're probably going to need to get a silk touch tool before we can do that, or else maybe those shears or something does it. My four shears, I don't have those on me. But that's not important. That's not important. Another thing I'm curious about is whether that green grass from up there, because you can actually pick that up. Let's go back up and look. While it's getting to be nighttime. Switch mode so I can fly quick. 
All right, this grass here, I think I can just mine it and pick it up. Let's find out. Yeah. That's pretty neat. I do like this. Let's see, maybe I could use this for now for my floor. Let's go ahead back down. Going over, going over. Somebody's got a wheat farm right by us. That's cool. All right, let's see how this looks. That's cool. I like this green. It's a lot greener. I love green grass. It is a little ghetto, but hey, got to make do with what you got. Anyway, I'm going to work on this for a little bit. I'm going to fill in the dirt over here so that it doesn't look like it's jutting, floating off the side of a hill. And I'll see you guys back. All right, so here's what we got so far. We've got all of our main pillars in. And I think we're gonna start doing the roof. I decided to use rubber wood just for whatever. It's a little bit darker. I wanted, I was feeling like something like spruce, but I think that's close enough. So what are we gonna do next? Let's start planning out the roof, how that could possibly look. I want to see first if I can do it with logs and see what that would look like. Oh, nope, that's not what I want. We want it to be like, no, wrong way. How do we get it? How do we get it? Oh, do these not lay sideways? Ooh, that's interesting. I don't know if I can lay these rubber woods the correct way. This may screw me up. I was thinking of just doing it, you know, a diagonal going up with them. What the heck? All right, well, back to the drawing board. I may just end up doing it with stairs, but I'm going to try and get done the roof and most of the rest of the structure. I don't like building too much on camera, but let's see how that will look. All right, I went and got some spruce, and I I think this is the look I'm going for, kind of log cabin-y. Um, and it's pretty close. The rubber is darker, but I don't know. We'll have to work something out. Um, Got to choose another material for now. I think I'm just going to do cobble and we'll probably replace it with something else. But yeah, that's kind of the look I'm going for. And then on this flat part in the top, I'm thinking I might just do hideaway solar panels. So I'm going to continue on with this, see how that looks. And I've been cooking also, we found some black abysmal stone, I think it's called, um, which can be made into black bricks, kind of like basalt. I don't know if that's really going to match in with this, but we'll mess around with it and see what looks good. All right, so here we go. It's funny how things, you imagine how it's going to look in your head, and somehow they rarely come out to be that. Um, I'm not loving how this ends up looking with the logs for the roof but you know what we're we're just getting started we just need a spot to be for now so i can always make it look nicer later try and get some windows in here i'm thinking i can't decide if i want to drop the floor down one have the windows I'm thinking maybe like that and then drop the cobble possibly down one more i don't know or i could bring this up one more like this another possibility but it, it's really not that big of a deal and it's raining now so I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna start to bring all of my chests up and let's get some power hooked into this baby all right guys I think we've done about as much work as I'm gonna do on the house at least for today and I'd like to start getting our other stuff a going so let's get all these things ready for our solar panels I think solar panels are gonna be the way to go at least for now I'll find other fun ways to power things eventually but for now this just is what I want to do so first we're gonna make a bunch of these as many as we can BAM 32 not bad then we're gonna upgrade them to the low voltage solar array so each one of these is gonna be the equivalent to I believe eight of those and then it's just a low voltage transformer in the middle. Bam, 
four of those. Not bad to start. Now, once we get eight of these, we can upgrade to a medium voltage one, but that's going to be good enough for now. So let's now grab out some redstone, some silver, and do we have glass? Yes, we have glass on us. So that's good, and we need some diamonds. So let's grab that. Let's get this turned up into there. Let's get some gold. Bam, and some rubber. Rubber, rubber. Bam. All right, so let's first off make an MFE, which is going to be our medium voltage bat box. So M M F E. So first we're going to need to make, do we make that already? Let's make some of these. Oh, did it not want to come up? Oh, well. We'll just do it old-fashioned way. I should be using rubies, but I don't re really have rubies at the moment to spare. I think I have two, and I want to hold on to those. So we got that. Let's get this rubberized. Bam. And I think it needs to be double insulated. Bam. All right. And is that all we need for it? Four of those, four of those, and a machine block. Let's grab a refined iron. Let's make some machine blocks. And now we should be able to make one of those. No! Come on, man. What are you doing to me? Whenever there's something, I think, when it doesn't have a charge, the NEI is just not liking it. All right. Got our MFE. So that's going to put out, what is it, up to 148? Is it 148? Or 128, excuse me. So we got that. Um, let's bring up another bat box. Let's make some more wires. So let's get out diamonds, get that switch back, and let's make some fiber cable. The fiber cable's nice because it can go, I believe it's 40 blocks that it can go before it starts losing any charge. All right, so let's grab a whole bunch of that. Hopefully that should be enough for what we're doing. Maybe I should do a little bit more. I know it's a waste on diamonds so early on, but we can get more diamonds. That's not a big deal. Oh, we already had sh mm, we already had some there. Arr. Oh, what are we missing? Why are you not? Oh, we're missing glass. Glass, come on now. All right, I'm going to get some more glass cooked up. This might be enough to do. No, that's just shy just shy so let's get some more glass cooking up in here got a little bit more power all right cool so that's cooking up now what else do we need we need low voltage transformer which we do not have at the moment so let's get that back in there let's look up low voltage transformer and you are The voltage transformer. Okay, so easy enough. Let's get out some copper and some copper wire. Bam. Make two of those bad boys. Doom and bonk, 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 bonk. Awesome. So we are pretty much all good in the hood now. If I do say so myself, let me get this stuff all put away and we'll meet up top and start installing everything. All right, so we got everything wrenched up, all of our machines, and let's see if we can start to figure this out where we want stuff. So the middle is right here. I'm probably gonna end up taking that glass out. And I wanted to do the solar panels here. I don't know if that's going to end up working out. It may end up looking funny once going in. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, because it doesn't really match up well with everything else. So I think instead we'll start the solar panels maybe right here. This 
Yeah, I think that's probably good. So I guess starting like this. And let's throw in these guys. Like they're there, they're there. And going all the way across. Does that seem about right? Yeah, I think so. And then I can do some solars here and there. So for now, let's throw these bad boys on. And again, this diamond cable, fiber cable, is able to take any voltage up to 512. But these guys, I think, are only producing 32, if that. Not sure. But I'm going to guess, the low voltage is 32. The ones before this, the first step, I know those only did 8 EU a tick, and it was only during the day. But anyway, so we have those bad boys in. Let's put this back up like that. Let's fill this back in. Awesome. Now I'm thinking I'm going to knock these windows out. So we'll have a little hidey wall. Maybe what I'll do is put like a, a fireplace thing going up here like that. That might be kind of neat. But those will go in and then we're going to bring this wire down. Right about like that. And let's put some more spruce here just to hide so no mobs can get in. And then I think I'm going to split off to do some machines on this side and then on this side. Maybe we'll just take the windows out completely on those two sides. So we're going to need to switch over. Let's find our MFE. These are actually low voltage, which is kind of nice. But I think we're going to put our MFE right here. So now that's filling up. Should be filling up. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, are we not getting any power at nighttime? All right, well, we'll see what happens. And then I'm going to switch off. All right. Here. Actually, do you know what would look good? Let's knock that off. Let's take these wires off. Is there any more? Okay. So actually what might look good instead is to have the MFE. Where are you? Where are you, bad boy? Oh lordy, I hope it didn't break. That would be god awful. No. Waste of four diamonds? Uh-oh, guys. We might need to make a new wrench. All right. Well, let me get this all figured out, how I'm going to wire it up, and then I'll just show you what I did. Yep. I think I done did it. The MFE. I can't find it. So here we go. Times two. Did it again. We should probably make a freaking wrench so this doesn't happen again. So our first wrench. Let's go do this guy. So... Bronze. How do we do bronze in this one? All right, there we go. Copper and tin. So it should. Oop. Did I just do it backwards? There we go. There we go. There we go. I just did it backwards. All right, so let's get our bronze. Let's get our wrench going. Is it this wrench? I think it's like that. Okay. So we got our wrench going. Next, we need, oh, and let's put this guy in here. Stay. Stay in the workbench. No, I don't like these new auto workbenches. They're quite the pain in the butt. All right, so let's go. Next thing, do we have any electric circuit and a battery? Which we have neither. 
Oh, good lordy. So let's get our electric circuit. Let's get our battery. Boom. Got our tin. Got our little thingy there. So let's get our battery going. Bam. Let's get our electric circuit going. Do we have any more force? Two. I like to use the force because you're getting two electric circuits instead of just one. Bam. And now, dunk, dunk, dunk. No, is that backwards? What is it? What is it? There we go. Awesome. Let's get our circuit back in here. Let's get our tin back in there, our copper back in there. And let's change this guy over to, what is it, lossless mode, I believe it's called. Lossless. So now nothing can ever break, but it's going to use way more charge. So let's head back up, and I'm going to get everything installed. All right, so I went and changed my mind again. So the MFE is going here. It's getting power now that it's daytime. We're going to bring the wire all the way down. First off, though, I think we are going to throw on... Low voltage transformer immediately. So this is going to change it from 128. We got to get this facing shift, right click. Now it's going to be putting out four packets of one, 120, uh, four packets of 32 EU a tick. Awesome. So now let's get this brought down. We'll do the little fireplace and back and here. Why don't we try and hide this into the ground? That might be the smart way of doing this. All right, get those guys back there. Sink it down. Awesome. And then we can actually just bring it over. So you know what? You know what? Maybe instead of going underneath, mm, yeah, instead of going underneath there, we're going to bring this out here. Let's get all those off. Good Lord, making a mess. Thank you. Get that back up. All right, now going across like that. This way we can actually somewhat keep our windows going on. So let's throw down the macerator and that is again low voltage going now. So if we have one, two, three, four going across, should we start it here? We'll start it here. So macerator, um, electric furnace, extractor, out of here. Extractor, leave a little gap. And then here will be our compressor once that gets finished. And then we'll have our little fireplace here. So I think that's cool. I'm going to log real quick to make sure these are all hooked in right. And next we have to bring up all of our chests. All right, next for the chests, we are going to start upgrading our chests. I'm sick of using wooden ones. Let's grab out a bunch of gold. Let's grab out a bunch of iron. Let's grab some diamonds. Let's grab some more iron, some more gold. Okay. So we're just going to take a chest and first we're going to go to an iron chest. We'll make a whole bunch of them. Nope. Don't want you. All right. So when we set this down, you can see you can set down a bunch of them next to each other. They don't connect. And look at that. You're getting from the one iron chest about the same inventory space as a double wood chest. So, so much better for space. Next, let's take these. Let's go around with gold. Bam. Thank you. Now we have gold chests. Let's look at the gold chest. Look at that. Even more space. Finally, finally, do we have enough for the diamond? I think we might need more glass, which we don't have on us. 
Do we have any more glass? No. So I think we're going to have to make do for the time being with just the golden chest. That's fine. That's a huge upgrade compared to what we had. So let's get that all in there. I'll hold on to the diamonds and let's get out our force wrench. And this I absolutely love. Oh, love it. Do we have two? Uh-oh. We only have one. Where'd the other one go? Where'd you go, buddy? I know you're around here somewhere. I know you're around here somewhere. Where'd you sneak off to? Ooh, redstone. Do we have anything in there? Let's get out that. Where did it sneak off to? We're missing a chest. Or maybe not. Maybe not. No, we are. We are still missing the chest. That is no good. Let's get these up. All right, we'll come across it, hopefully. Let's get the rest of them. Boom. Get these guys. Are we doing inventory? Plenty of space. And, oh, where did that one chest sneak off to? That was an important chest. Actually, that was just cobble. So, we won't cry about it. Hopefully, I come across it. Let's see, what do we have in here? Anything? Some spider spawners. I'll just grab that. I think we should be good to go for now. And since we had an odd number, let's... Grab one more. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So, I'll meet you guys upstairs. All right, let's get all these bad boys in now. Let's throw down. Still don't have enough sand for more glass. We'll get that later. We'll upgrade. So, I think that will be good. Let's get the these chests set down for now. Let's see. Those first important ones were here here and last one we're gonna do for down here all right so I'm gonna start switching over all of our port and stuff all right guys so I'm still in between how I feel about it but it, I think it worked out for now I'll play around with it in between now and next episode and try and give it a little bit more flavor but anyway, let's do a couple things. Let's charge up our bat pack. I hope this works. I got it in my inventory. Let's get some more sand cooked up so we can get those diamond chests. And then I'm starting to collect some clay so we can make our fireplace. And hopefully it will work. Yes, that's awesome. Oh, that's going to be so nice. I've been having to run back and forth every single time I want to cut down after a couple trees or break a couple blocks. Plus... This is really sweet. That grass from that floaty island is working out. So I want to know what you guys feel about that. And I also made... Let's see if I can find it. Oh well, must be downstairs. Anyway, guys. Let's just check out this bat pack. And let's make this our first diamond chest. Oh, we got to charge you up too. In fact, let's try the bat pack for this. Should be. Where's the bat pack? No, don't go in there. So if I have the bat pack on my person, I break a block. Boom! Fully charged. Awesome. So now let's grab this out. Thank you very much. Got that. Let's get our diamonds. Where's my diamonds? Where'd you go, diamonds? I am losing things left and right. It's not even funny. There we go. So I think it's two diamonds per chest, if I remember correctly. And it would be like this and like that. Awesome! Our first diamond chest. Bada bing. So hopefully I'll upgrade a bunch of these in between now and next episode. Redo the wiring, redo the house. And I think I'd like to try take our first trip into the nether next episode anyway guys thanks for watching 
comment, like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up if you enjoy because it helps me get much better noticed on YouTube for my Minecraft and motivated to play more Feed the Beast. Thanks, guys. As always, peace out.